Hello guys and welcome to Living With A Pacemaker. It's week 26 here exclusively on this beautiful channel of Gavinos right here on YouTube.com. So thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, down in the below there's a thing called a subscriber button and the bell icon so you help this channel grow for what it is and thank you ever so much for that. As it stands 887 subscribers. Now, I think I probably lost a subscriber due to the amount of FIFA gameplay that I've been giving you guys. Yes, I've overindulged on it. Yes, you guys will be ODing on the motherfucking gameplay. It's because, quite honestly, I enjoy playing that mode. But one thing is I want to stress to you guys is I'm playing against people online, as well as probably fellow YouTubers. If you want to play against me on FIFA, you're more than welcome to. Sometimes the chat doesn't work on the live stream. You know, because quite honestly, he or Steven contacted me and he wanted to play me on FIFA. And he's like my brother from another mother from across the pond in New Jersey. And he was representing Lamberhold Peru. So I took his chance, took his challenge. And you can see this exclusively only on this channel on YouTube.com. Yes, I stress to you, only on this channel. Not Hill Stevens, mine. So all mine, my buddies. But more to the point is that, yeah, I know I've overindulged on it, but I'm going to say this point blank range EA. Any EA supporters out there that have got this game would understand the frustrations and tribulations towards FIFA 2018 World Cup Edition. Four years ago, it was fucking better. There you go. That's my stresses. You know, it was 100 times better than it was, but it's still enjoyable gameplay, but it's annoying me when I get sort of frustrated when some people actually decide to fucking score tapping goals. You know, when you work hard to get across in, you get across, no one at the end of it. What was that all about, EA? What was that all about? You know, because numerous of chances I've had with crosses... No, none of my players get there in time. That's so lifelike, I must say. That's why I got desperate to put players out of position. Jeez, I do sound like a real football manager. Should be wearing a shirt and tie and fucking suit for this. You know? But then again, it would probably be my own funeral if I did. But most of the point is, one thing is as well I'm going to mention... That I will be giving honorary mentions or shout outs as people like to call them at the end of this video. Right, one thing is that I want to actually stress to you guys I feel accepted. You know, I feel accepted, I've always felt accepted, but not acknowledged it because obviously you've seen me through the rough times and the good times of being on YouTube, doing online content for you guys, different variations on this channel, different formats different video qualities but end of the day you still come back and you feel make me feel accepted which i'm grateful for you know to expect accept part of different communities from collecting dvds no that stack of blu-rays is no way i'm gonna get jump up and go blu-rays but you get gather this picture but to obviously the wrestling community I feel accepted on there. You know, it's just mind-blowing all these different outlets that one click of a button, how far we are away from each other, but one device brings us all close. You know, feel accepted in the community. Feel accepted for what you do in life. You know, you don't... It's weird to say, don't let the internet control you, but you control the internet. But it's true that the internet does control you more than you can control it, because... You're looking for certain such and such, and then you found that such and such, and then you brand it out onto that such and such, so it's hypnotizing you to use it. Ooh, spooky. I know, but but seriously, it's great to feel accepted, you know? I've been full run of the mill, as you know full well. And it's great to interact with you guys, it's been great to interact with anyone that I've come across, but it's great to feel accepted. You know, even though all the troubles that I'm facing in my personal life, lack of hours at work, it's not work's fault, it's obviously the wage budget. <sighs> but more to the point is, other than that stress, 
I've still got this above my head. No, I don't mean the loft door. I mean the roof above my head. That's what counts. That's what counts in life. You know, I'm 35 years old, going on 36 in a few weeks. Thank you for the early birthday wishes. That was a sole hint. Get the picture. But, s seriously, no bullshit. I'm glad I feel accepted. You know, because it takes it's a lot of hard work to be accepted. You know, but you paint out your journey in your life. You know, and that means something. You should mean something to some other people. Yes, you may mean a lot to your family, but can you impress certain people on like Facebook? Can you impress people on YouTube? Can you impress impress people on Daily Motion? Can you impress anyone around this motherfucking world to make you stand out from the crowd? I'll use an example. I'm not mentioning her own names. There's actually a female work colleague of mine. She's actually just recently left. You know, but she's studied hard, done her craft, you know, to focus on something and to accomplish her goal in life. And she's done it. And I'm proud of her. I'm fucking proud of her. You know, even though we've talked off and on at work, hands down, I am fucking proud of her. I can't, th you know, because it's great to see young people th compared to the m minority that I was working towards. Yeah, I always wanted to get in the bar trade. Yeah, I wanted to get in the restaurant trade. Yeah, I wanted to be what I wanted to be. You know who I blame for that? Tom fucking Cruise with cocktail. You know, even though I can't memorise cocktails, what was the fucking point in the first place? But I chose my destiny. She chose her destiny. Even though she was working part-time at my workplace, jumbling it in with her, work, with her uni life. That's what passion people I respect. You know... When people, when I used to think, oh, I don't respect students, only the ones that I work with. I don't disrespect them at all. I used to think like that because I was always negative all the time when I was 18. You know, and naive. And the way I was brought up to believe in, work for your money. More than obviously study for your money. It was just the way that I've always be believed in. But I believe in to the people that, don't get me wrong, study to get their degrees or diplomas or whatever. To focus their goals in line. To make them feel accepted. You know, it's great to see people succeed. But some people that have been to university that are not succeeding. You know, lowered their expectations. But end of the day... The market in the United Kingdom, let alone worldwide, sp splashed out everywhere, is having the same problem. You may have that qualification, but can you stand out from that qualification? Because they'll judge you for the person that you come across as, more than the qualifications that you've got on the piece of paper. You know, granted, like I said last week, I was overqualified for a job, yeah, granted, but people probably judge the way I look, you know. The way my hair is, minus today. Guys, it's humidity. I've turned into a white man's afro. You see, so... There's so much things in life going off. You know, technology's evolving. You know, it's like when my good old friend Stephen Hollywood put a really good status. Employ people instead of giving computers all the jobs. You know, I agree with him, 100%. You know, and then you get people probably giving him backlash for it. Okay, then fair enough. Do you do paperwork by hand? Do you do computers by hand? I mean, what you do like to enter? Do you enter the data instead of sending emails? Do you send it through post? No, you rely on the computer to do the job. You know, it's getting to the time of the place. Yes, we know it's 21st century. Yes, we know it's 2018. Technology's evolved. Times have changed, granted. But when people like myself... And other people in this United Kingdom and the world are struggling to find ends meet. You know, I'm happy with my job even though it's giving me, at the moment, seven hours. You know why I'm happy? Because I'm interacting with other people. That's my social life. I don't have much of a life, do I? You know, you're watching me on YouTube. Says it all. But I have been applying for other jobs and all that lot. So... But when I was saying 
Feel accepted in this fucking world for who you are. Don't be fooled by other people to try and down you. Because if you let that happen, you know full well it's going to fucking happen. And down the depression cycle. And then when people bitch and moan. Oh, I ain't got that many subscribers. I ain't got that many views. But at the end of the day, you should be, like I stressed, if you've got one person tuning in, you made that person want to tune in. So why do you want to make people tune into your content? Do you look at these big YouTubers to give you an inspiration to say, okay, fair enough, they're an inspiration, I'll start a channel, I'll make these millions. Don't look to the big ones, look at the little ones that are struggling, that that, that need your helping hand, you know, to give them the helping hand, you know, that's what it's all about, community, you know, there's plenty of fucking things going off in this fucking world that we should be more worried about than fucking YouTube videos or daily motion videos or online gaming, end of the day I do that for an escapism from reality, you know, because I know how fucked up this reality really is. You know, I'm just hoping that the kids of this generation will open their eyes to the generation what's ahead of them. They've got it so fucking easy. It's unfucking believable. You know, they've got it so fucking easy with modern technology and everything. I sound like an old fart, an old fucking fuddy duddy. They'll probably suck on a peppermint cream going to play bingo, but we'll fucking still. You know, all those stories that my grandparents told me in my life. Re- resolutions to today's society to pass on to the, this day and age you know if I had kids I would tell them the same even though technology is evolving and computers are stealing on the fucking jobs but at least one thing you need to stand out from the crowd to be accepted you know and that's why I feel accepted and you as an individual should feel accepted it's great to feel accepted so don't be a shit don't be um, shunting your way f- from being accepted. You know, it, it's a mindfuck when it does happen when you s- realise. When you f- fucking realise. When you understand the t- termination that you've got in life. You may sit there with a keyboard in front of you and go, yeah, whatever, blah, 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 blah. But still, you can make a difference. Don't be afraid of trying to make a difference. To stand out from the crowd compared to others. Because it does frustrate me. When people just sit back if they've got fucking talent that no one knew about. You look at the guy that won Britain's got talent. He's got a disablement. He didn't let that get him better of him. He made him stand out from the crowd. That's what I got respect for. When you see people like that, don't let any disablement get behind hold you back do what you want to do do want you want to stand out you know that just proves that there is a person in every disablement and that's what made him stand out from the crowd not because of his disability he was funny he had great comedy he delivered great comedy and no bullshit brass tacks around it it just shows you if you've got a disability stand out why do you think people say to me, I'm insp- inspire them to do vlogs, to inspire them to live on their lives? Because I feel accepted. You know, it's great to talk to other people on other platforms as well. I talk to people on YouTube, I talk to people on Twitter, I talk to people any way that I can. But I don't let my personal life mingle in with it because it will frustrate me it will get me angry it will get me depressed anxiety will come back which i don't fucking want why do you think i don't want it health they always say when i was in hospital put your health first first thing i wanted to do the day i came back out of hospital i wanted to go back to work you know to go to the extra mile to the determination to prove that i'm willing to do the job in hand but obviously I was signed off sick for six to eight weeks. I couldn't stop that. Now look, I can from the fucking first week you saw me, I could not do that to now. Why? Because I had perseverance, determination to make myself healthy. So 
I may eat like a fucking pig still, but I'm still, I can walk around. I'm trying to make myself stand out from the crowd. But when it comes to job interviews, it's not that easy, is it? How do you think I felt when I was told I was overqualified? I was annoyed and frustrated, like you've seen in the vlog that I put up. That weekly update, I mean, not vlog, sorry. Or well, you can class it as a vlog as well. But a lot of people don't even get interviews. The only positive I can get from that, they t took the time to interview me. A lot of people applied for that job. Got interviews, didn't get past the interview, granted. But do you think that's going to knock me down? No, I've got a determination to find another job. You know, I enjoy my job currently. I'm not knocking my current job. I just wish I had more hours. So I can do more things and bring more content for you guys. You know? You are the one that can make a difference for yourself. Make yourself stand out. Make yourself get that qualification that you want. Make you what live out the dream that you want. But there's one word that comes to mind. Acceptance. You need that acceptance. You need that perseverance. You need that commitment to stand out. I've always learned this throughout my whole entire life. Yeah, I've had setbacks after setbacks, roadblock after roadblock. Granted. But I've got friends, I've got family who gives a shit about me. All around the fucking world. Through my friends, through social media as well. I may have 887 subscribers. I may try and bring you different content as much as I fucking can. It doesn't annoy me if people don't tune in. If one person tunes in, hey... This ain't my job, like most big YouTubers say it's their job, which I'm grateful for to see them accomplishing their goals. I'll use an example. Emma Blackery. She's one of those YouTubers that started from nothing to doing EPs for her music. By the looks of it, she's got an album coming out. She's touring, she's vlogging, she's doing everything. She's trying to... to Accomplish her goals, what she wants to do in life. And it all started on YouTube. She's one of those people that stood out from the crowd to accomplish her goals. Why does it take so many people so long here on YouTube to accomplish their goals? Because there's so much competition. And you can't think of anything new to stand out from the crowd. Why do you think people make clickbait videos? Why do you think people make clickbait titles? Is because the way this site is run. Try and beat the site if you can. I know I can't. If one person is tuned in, that means I've beaten to one person. That one individual could make a whole difference in your life. You don't know who the fuck is watching. You on YouTube, you in the reality world, you wherever. Could turn out negative or positive. End of the day, you are making yourself known. And that's what you do. That's what you should do in life. Get yourself known. I guarantee you, if I backtracked anything in my life and changed it, nothing. You know, I may have been bullied at school, but the worst lead led me. It's ironic that I say all this, isn't it? To say I'm a little poxy fucking channel compared to some of the big ones here on YouTube. But I'm still making a difference. You know? Only you can make the difference. Change it if you don't like it. It frustrates me when people moan about... Every time I think I've mentioned this. It moans to me at least one person will moan about their job if I sit at a bus stop saying... Oh, I've got to go into work today. The same shit. You know what should motivate you? Being a fucking alive. Walking about. You know, I've mentioned about disability in this world. There's a lot worse off people than you. There's hunger in this world. Not running tap water in this world. But you should be grateful for what's given over you. That thing above you. 
the roof above your head. You should be grateful that you're doing that. It's like when I was walking through Manchester, I didn't vlog that much in Manchester. I was having too much of a good time, but as I was looking around, homeless people after homeless people asking for spare change. How good did I feel having no money on myself to just to give to them? I would have at least given them a pound each. I've done it in the past. I will still do it if I think they are genuine enough. Our government's not helping our fucking homeless epidemic. I'm not disrespecting the students, but there's too much student accommodation here in the United Kingdom to, for the government to fucking care. When they could easily give fucking the man they fucking take over and they complain. At least one thing this country's got is the NHS keeping us alive. Granted. But it'd be nice if they helped the homeless out a lot more than they do. They say there's not enough beds in the hostel, but you still doing big buildings and everything for corporate companies. People are not asking for, they're not actually asking for a handout, are they? All they're asking for is a spare change. Yeah, granted, a homeless person can make a lot of money doing it. And there aren't a lot of genuine homeless people out there. But if you do your research and your knowledge, and you would understand. There is good things and bad things about it being here in the United Kingdom. That people don't know the frustrations that I see day in, day out. But how can we stand out to make a difference, you may ask? The only person that will know that answer is you. D d yeah, that's right. You. That's watching this video for over 21 minutes. Only you can make a difference. Why do you think all these big people are making big waves in the charts, in the movie industry? Because they stood out from the crowd and made a difference. But that's today's video. Other than my health, I've got to say, my health is fine. I'm feeling fine other than sticky and sweaty and horrible due to the weather here in the United Kingdom currently. It's very humid, very horrible, very ugh. But seriously guys, only you can make the difference. Right, as I mentioned, Honorary mentions that I will be giving out a big shout out to some people that I've been interacting with over on Kick Messenger. Right, all I'm saying is big shout out to Joey, big shout out to Pika. She's named after Pikachu, obviously. Um, it's, I'm not used to giving out usual real names, but Sunny, uh, Yunani, I think that's how you pronounce it, Yunani, I forget how you pronounce your name, I do apologise, I do apologise if I'm butchering it, uh, Naomi, um, other people that is, are watching this, I've forwarded it to, let's just say this, I've interacted with you guys and you're good solid people, full of positivity, and obviously a big shout out to Tiffany as well. It's great to interact with other people on other platforms. So if you want to interact with me and join our group chats, you're more than welcome to. Please do if you want. S search on Kick Messenger. And obviously you'll f find it by my channel name. So what I'm saying is if you want to interact with me, you don't have to. It's like I've opened a Patreon account. You don't have to make a donation, but I've left it for people to make a donation you know you guys are making the difference be different from everyone else i know it's hard this day and age because everything has been done but seriously you'll get your message across thanks guys for tuning in i'll catch you guys soon for another video here exclusively on this channel on youtube.com until next time catch you later